Hello Capricorn viewers. I'm going to look in and see what's going on with your situation. A couple weeks ago when I did a reading for you guys, I was getting that there was some sort of shy, sweet, secret admirer type that was really desperately trying to drop hints and trying to get your attention, but it's like you weren't noticing them or like maybe you just didn't realize that they were flirting with you. Like they might have like a kind of awkward, shy way of flirting with you. This could be someone that you see out in public or maybe that you you work with. Let's see what the story is. I feel like some of you are about to get a job promotion or you're about to start a new career. For a few of you. Let's see what the story is right now. Hmm. Interesting energy. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Let me straighten this out a little bit. It seems like your guides are forcing you to take a break here because the Four of Swords, it's someone who's just exhausted. Like they need, they need to heal. Like their body is forcing them to stop and rest and heal, meditate, you know, be in the space of just silence, of just, just, they were running, like someone here was, was, <coughs> sorry, someone here was running on empty. It's like Two of Pentacles learning to juggle duties, learning to find a balance, um, this could be regarding love or it could be regarding career for some of you, like ending a dead end job. There's just some sense here that's like you were just running on empty. Like you were just, you were either giving your all to this, to some sort of relationship or to a job or just to life in general, like just having a busy schedule all the time, just work, work, work. And it's like, you might be kind of going through a tower moment right now, or maybe your guys are just forcing you to stop to rest, to heal, to approach uh, work and love and whatever this might be in a different way because you were really out of balance before. Your energy was really off um, is what I'm getting from this. And so it's like you were kind of forced to, to go, you, you were forced or you're being forced right now to, to rest, to stop, to, to you know find a new strategy, to, to heal. It's like... Your body is like screaming at you to slow down and it's like now you're being forced to slow down for however that whatever that looks like in your life. You're being forced to stop and slow down and heal. Um, two of Pentacles here. It's like you're let me turn the light on, hold on, sorry. Two of Pentacles here, it's it's like you're just being forced to find this balance. You're being forced to find a balance. Something just ended or something's about to end. Could be for some of you a relationship that you know is just, it's draining you. Or it could be a job that's been draining you. But there's some sort of ending here. But it's like you're going to, it's like a death and rebirth process almost. So it's a good thing. And you're going to come out a lot stronger, a lot more intuitive, a lot more powerful. It might be um, something in the public eye. Like maybe the career path that you're on isn't right for you and you're about to change career paths. You're doing something working with the public or the public is supporting you. you just got to get out of this devil energy. King of... Ooh, that's good. Hello. Queen and King of Wands. That's like... Can you see that? Is that... Okay. Queen and King of Wands. That's like a power couple right there. That could be... Could be a fire sign that you're attracting also. Um, but that's that's good. That's a really good... I mean, this, this is a powerful couple. Wands is about fire energy. So you might have it in your chart, but it, it's also just about, you know, passion, emotion, um, strength. It's, it's, a, it's a really... It's, this is a good couple. This is a very strong, very passionate, very loving couple here. I almost wonder, I'm looking at these cards, like the story that's being told here. It's almost like you're going through a phase and you don't understand why it's happening. You just feel like the universe is punishing you or, I don't know if this is past or current energy. I can't, I don't know. For, I think it's going to be different for each one, but it's like, almost like someone is going through some sort of phase, like a job loss or like things aren't going well financially or with a love situation and like you kind of just feel like the universe is punishing you. Like maybe you're starting to feel exhausted and it's like the universe forcing you to slow down. Like 
like you, I don't know, like stub your, like you, like you sprain your ankle or something and you're like, screw this. But it's like, and it sucks, but it's like the universe forcing you to slow down because you need to rest and heal and you're just going, going, going. And it's like, you're exhausting yourself. Um, or it could be like you're giving all your energy to a certain situation or certain relationship and it's like whatever it is it's like you're forced to slow down but if you do that if you go through this introspective energy and you stop like carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders like you just let yourself relax because I feel like the energy of just like stress and worry and just like just go 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 just busy schedules um and it's like the universe is going to send you a tower moment to force you to slow down if you don't do it on your own and I'm still, I'm struggling to see if this is past or current or current energy. Cause I feel like for some of you, this might be a story. Like you, we already went through all this energy, but the story needs to be told so that you understand what's happening in your love life. Or maybe you're thinking about something that happened from the past and your guides want to explain why that happened to you. Like you like broke your leg or something. And maybe like lately with Mercury retrograde, you're like, why the hell did that happen to me? Like I thought I was doing so well. I was on top of the world. Like I was working 60 hours a week why would my guides want to slow me down like like that kind of energy and it's like you know something bad might have happened but it's like they had like you weren't stopping you were kind of give yourself a heart attack um it's like you had to, or you were just like just mentally exhausted and it's like just you, you hit a tower moment I don't know if you just hit it or it's, it's past energy but it's telling the story about how it's leading you to, to your true love here so I feel like this was either a situation or a relationship could be a job something that just something was draining it could be like just life in general just maybe your maybe your mentality maybe um just pushing yourself way too hard I get the energy of someone just pushing themselves and it's like just again and again and your guides are like slow down slow down slow down stop overanalyzing stop stop just stop calm down ground yourself meditate have a healing day have a spa day just just chill for a minute <laughs> like the energizer bunny here is what I feel <laughs> but for some of you, like I said, it's telling a story of how, if this is past energy, it could just be telling the story of how you're you're meeting this person or how you're going to be meeting this, this true love that's coming in. Because I feel like, I feel like a tower moment happened, but it was necessary to get you to rest and to get you, a, t a tower moment is happening or it's going to happen. Or you're in the middle of it. However, that whatever, that, whatever, the however, whatever, wherever you're at in this story. But... God, I can feel your stress, <laughs> I swear, but it's like the Ten of Swords, it's like, it's like an ending to something, it's like the final, in the minor arcana, as far as swords goes, the Ten is like the final, it's like ultimate, like, just like rock bottom, like betrayal, heartbreak, ending a job, um, things not panning out how you hoped, you know, breaking a leg or something to force yourself to rest, you know, that's, which, I mean, would have happened already if that was going to happen, I feel. But whatever the energy is, it's like, then you can regroup after that. It's like a death and rebirth process that you had to just sort of go through. And once you do that, though, and some of you might be telling you to do this. Maybe it's some, for some of you, it might be warning you, like, on this path, just you're not feeling like yourself. You're just, it's just stress. It's just constantly just go, go, go. There's no balance. Like, you need to have fun and you need to enjoy life, too. And you're just going, going, going. So maybe your guides, for those of you that are in that energy where it's, it's where this isn't past energy and it hasn't happened yet, your guides might be warning you like you want to avoid a tower moment, then you need to relax. You need to meditate. You need to regroup and, and come to look at things from a different perspective. The way the, this perspective, whatever this was, it's, it hasn't been working for you. You're going in circles. You're just going in circles. And you're in this double energy, repeating patterns, just same old merry-go-round same old perspective, stagnant, bored, lonely, um, same routine every day. You need to get out of this. You need to break free from your comfort zone. You need new energy. You need a, you drastically need a perspective shift so that if you, and if you don't get that perspective shift on your own, your guides are going to bring a tower in. I'm sorry to say it, but, um, and, and if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below in the description section. I, I can look more deeply into this situation. Um, and also, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly.
so okay so the story here sorry i'm getting i think you guys are probably confused and flustered because especially with mercury retrograde i'm like oh what's going on <laughs> Okay, so Ten of Swords here, Devil, Six of Wands. It's like you just, you have to, you either have or you're going to come into this, this... God, you guys must be confused and flustered because I swear I'm feeling that energy while you probably read this, or you were. If this is a past story, then it's like you were in that energy and you're getting out of it now. Um, but it's trying to tell a story here, and I'm trying to piece it together because it's trying to tell a story about how you, you have or how you're about to meet your person. It's almost like when you go through this death and rebirth process, you you come at things from a new perspective. Like you finally slow down. You finally stop taking the weight of the world on your shoulders. You finally stop being stubborn and be insisting on doing it your way, even though you you know that your way is not working and that you're just going in circles with this devil energy. This is like my way or the highway kind of energy. This is like repeating patterns, like just like you're not even... You're just so in like so stuck on this merry-go-round that you're not even like acknowledging the fact that it's not working for you, that you're going in circles. Like you need to be introspective and really reflect on everything and really be honest with yourself. Like, has this really been working for you? Because it's like you're stagnant. And I think you know that. Like you're not using your intuition. Or like I said, it could be past energy that you were in. So I'm not saying this is current. But it's like whenever whenever it is that you were in that energy, it's like you were stagnant and you were just repeating the same cycles. And like you were you were just like like I feel like body tension, like too, like you were just so guarded, so like like just just stagnant, like just not like things were not flowing for you. You had to force everything in your life, love, money. You had to fight for everything. It was just a constant uphill battle constantly pushing yourself just constantly and it's like you got to stop and consider maybe there's a better way to do this like maybe I need to rest maybe I need to heal myself maybe I need to to meditate and take some time away from all this so I can come back to my life with a new perspective like you are in deep need for a perspective shift you are in deep need of of getting off this merry-go-round getting out of this repetitive stagnant devil energy you know, toxic addictions, toxic patterns that you keep repeating out of your own stubbornness. And my guides are calling you out right now. Okay, don't dislike. It's not me. It's my cards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not even my cards. It's your guides calling you out. Okay, don't blame me for it. <laughs> don't blame me. <laughs> but... But once you do that, once you finally allow yourself to get out of this devil energy, once you stop being stubborn and you stop in this repetitive stagnant energy, once you stop and you heal and you rest and you develop your intuition more and you start trusting your intuition more and start trusting your heart more, I feel like you're just logic, logic, logic. And it's like, no, you got to trust your intuition and your heart now more. You got to start. You can't just have it be all logic. There has to be logic and intuition and emotion, heart. All these three things work together. They balance each other out. You can't just put all your energy into one. You know, you really need to find more of a balance. But like once you go through this death and rebirth process, like once you allow this to happen and you just stop and slow down and meditate and go through that energy, um, you're going to come back to your life with a new perspective and you're going to be in the public eye. This could, this could be like a new career or like coming back to your job but with like a fresh perspective, like like getting like a promotion or something and like people start looking up to you. Like right now, I feel like people at work are like, they're not looking up to you or like they're, there's kind of like a repetitive energy with you, but this is like, like, like your co, like if you stay in the same job, your coworkers would be looking at you in a different way. Like they would see you as like, like in a high position, basically. Like they would, they would have a different perspective. But for a lot of you, I think this would be a new job actually. Or this could also, I feel like this could also just be saying like, you're going to attract the right person because you went through this death and rebirth process and you're using your intuition and your heart because you can't approach relationships with logic. You got to, you know what I mean? Like relationships are more like intuitive and emotional. So logic is like boring in relationships. People are not going to be attracted to that. Um, but like coming with the six of wands energy, I see, I say it not only like, being in the public spotlight when it comes to work and career and finances, but also with love, like people noticing you more because your energy has shifted. 
And you have this king or queen of wands that would notice you more because of this energy shift. Like they would be, yeah, letting go new perspective. Like this king or queen of wands would be, that's interesting, three of wands, three of, three of swords, three of wands. It's like you've almost been breaking your own heart by like repeating these patterns, just going, going, going. The Hierophant reverse, so the Hierophant upright is like societies, like what other people think, control issues, like these mental patterns that have been keeping you blocked, like from abundance. It's like you just have this stubborn way of thinking and it's like getting out of that energy, letting go, um, letting go of control issues, healing these control issues so that you can use your intuition and have the life that you want. And when you do that, you're going to have this love coming in quickly. Show me more about the King and Queen of Wands. Why am I seeing like that? I I don't think I've even seen that show, How I Met Your Mother. That I think I saw like one or two episodes, but I'm, I'm like seeing, I keep getting that visual while I'm doing this, like that story. I don't know if that means something to someone. I don't even know what that show's about. I mean, I kind of do. I've seen like one or two episodes, but it's like, it's something like that. It's, <laughs> I don't know what it means, but Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a new start with work or with love too. I just see new energy in general. Like you've just been so stagnant. You've got to get out of that stagnant energy. It's time. It is past time. No more procrastinating. You got to think like if you wouldn't do it today, why would you do it tomorrow? Just do the thing today. Do the thing. Just start a pattern. Start, you know, habits of just doing the thing. Even if it's not comfortable at first, you got to step out of your comfort zone if you want this new energy. Capiche. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, because it's like in the energy you're in, it's like your soulmate can't, they don't recognize you. You're so like busy and frustrated and stressed and like guarded. Like your energy is so stagnant and it's so blocked. Like I think you really need chakra unclearing too. Like you have a lot of blocked chakras because you've been trying to be strong for so long and just going, going, going. Like you need to really do some chakra healing, maybe do some soul retrieval. Like you really need healing for whoever this is for. You really need some healing. You really need to slow down. You really need to start balancing your intuition and your heart with with logic you know you have to have all three um you know you got to get out of this stubborn stagnant energy because it's just it's not it's just the same old same old every day you got to get out of that you got to break free from this devil energy you got to push yourself really hard out of your comfort zone and start meditating and developing your intuition more but um but it's like your soulmate can't recognize you now almost it's like they're you know it, it's like because maybe your energy is just really guarded. Like you seem really defensive. And this could be a continuation of that story. Remember I was getting that you have someone like a shy, sweet, secret admirer type that's, oh my God, this makes so much sense now. Because the last reading I did, I was getting you have like a shy, sweet, secret admirer type that's been noticing you like a coworker or just someone around you that like watches you. But it's like they, they give you subtle little hints but then they 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 just don't know how to talk to you, so they're like they're really shy. But it's like they give you these subtle hints, but then you like shut them down, and you don't even realize that you're shutting them down because it's like you just because your energy is so guarded and it's so distrusting and it's so like like just go go go, so busy, so just stubborn and it's like that energy is like making your soulmate think that you don't that you're not interested in them you know what I mean it's almost like maybe like a co-worker like you go to work and you're just like like one track mind like okay you guys um uh you know do this you this team does this this team does this this team does this and it's like there's no emotion you're just like do, do, do like leadership position which is which is sexy don't get me wrong but it's like that cute little uh, secret admirer type is like can we like, can you be funny? Can you, can you relax? Can you talk? Like, can you be more social like a little bit? Cause you're just like, so like, you're just so focused on something right now. Like so focused on like getting, meeting a goal or so focused on something that you're not noticing the people around you. You're not noticing like the love and the abundance around you could even be that you're so focused on finding love that you're not noticing like the love that's already around you. Cause you're like, it's going to be this person. They're going to look like this. They're going to feel like this. I'm going to meet them on this day. Like just control issues. And it's like, there's this cute little sweet person around you. That's like, eh, hi, I'm right here. <laughs> for, for others, it's just like, you haven't met them yet, but it's like, they're in your energy field. 
and it's like telepathically communicating and it's like your energy kind of tells them you're not ready for them to enter your life in the physical because you're so like just set on this certain path that you're on um Hmm. But it's like when you have this death and rebirth, it's like you're, you're going to your energy is going to change. So this person, whether it's telepathically and they haven't met you yet or whether it's actually someone you physically know who just feels like you keep shutting them down and you don't even realize you're shutting them down. But it's like your body language and your energy is telling them that you're not interested when you really just haven't noticed them like you haven't like. You've been so stuck in your head that you haven't seen what's around you. Whatever the, whatever the situation is, it's like once you get in this energy, though, your energy is going to be more open and more receptive. So they're going to feel like a little bit more secure trying to start up a conversation. Um, they are really shy, though. So if you know who this is, it's a good idea for you to try to start up a conversation. Like you don't have to go overboard, but just say, hey, how's your day? Like be just be friendly. Just smile at them. You know, how, how are things going? You know, you've been a little hermit. You've been a grouchy little hermit. You got to stop being a grouchy hermit. <laughs> I'm a grouchy hermit too sometimes. I understand. So you got to get in this energy, this high priest, high priestess energy. Four of Wands, happy time, celebration, love, just enjoying yourself. Just good energy finally. That's what you need. You know, just, just. Four of Pentacles reversed, so just relaxing, relaxing. See, it's like this person that wants to talk to you. It's like male or female, and they're like... It's like silence. It's like they don't like they're not noticing each other. Notice each other. Look up. Look take the What's he freaking doing with his top top hat over there? Look up. Look over there. Look at each other. Jesus. Yeah, it's time to start a new life. Time to start a new life. Time to go on a new path. And you'll have like reward and good harvest and and yeah, everything that you want. I almost feel like that how I met your mother thing, like why it keeps coming up is it's like, I don't know, because I kind of remember what that show is about. I don't remember it well. I've only seen like one or two episodes, but I feel like, isn't the story like it's like it shows their friendships and just all the different events that took place for before they finally got together. It's almost like one of those scenarios here is what I feel it's like you're going to look back at like the chaos and the bad things that happened that you didn't understand at the time and you guys are going to laugh about it or like if this is like a coworker, it's like always like the wrong timing or like they just always there's always this like awkwardness or like they're dating someone or you're dating someone or there's always you know what I mean like all these little like battles and stuff and you guys are gonna like laugh about laugh at it like oh wow I didn't realize I had a chance with you the whole time like why didn't we do this sooner? You know, it's that kind of energy. Well, I hope this resonates. Um, if it does, please go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. And I also do private readings. My email is below in the description. Thank you.